asking, are you going to fight Connor? When are you going to fight Connor? Now the fight is days away. How does it feel to have it days away? Yes, I, expe I expect this because UFC all the time try to make big fights. Like if they can make good fights and same time make money, why not? You know, Connor is a big name. I have big name, you know, and this is very good for Pepe Rue. And, uh, you know, and uh, like two years ago, like one year ago, I think about this. It's time is going to come because we have to fight. We have to fight. He has big name. I have big, big name. Like, this is money fight. This is a very interesting fight for people, for fans. You know, this is very big fight for Pepe Rue. And right now we're here, one week, one week before fight. And, you know, my weight is good. My shape is good. I never feel like this before, never. This is my best shape ever, and I'm 30 years old. This is third my fight in the last nine months. I'm most active and dominant UFC champion, and you know, I think I'm lucky. The bus incident in April, you've been asked a lot of questions about it. He's been asked a lot of questions about it. Do you care about that bus incident now, days before the fight? No, I don't care about this. I don't care. You know why? Because, uh, because like, People who with me in bus like Kiesa, Yaquinta, like girls like Namajnunas, other girls, Kavalkevich, like Ilir Latifi. I remember everybody. Like um, Parvino, Ali, like a lot of people with me in bus and they know how quickly this happened and how many guys between us, like how many guys don't let me go out, you know, everybody hold me. And you know, it's like, they know, you know, you know, like you can ask the, these guys and uh, what happened when they come. I feel relaxed, I'm laughing, you know, and I try to go out and then I understand he come with 30 people like with camera, you know. If you come to fight with someone, why you need camera? For show up, then I understand this is like crazy, you know, and they try to promote, promote this. At most important 6 October, I'm gonna talk with him. I'm gonna explain him everything inside the cage. What do you want to say to him inside the cage? Like last fight, when I fight with Yaquinta, I talk with him, I talk with his coaches, I talk with Barboza, Barboza coaches, I talk with Michael Johnson, Michael Johnson coaches. Like with him, I'm gonna talk a little bit different. Uh, you know, make him humble, teach him, sometimes slap him, you know, make him tired. Because like, when you're always tired, he give up, you know. He try to, like, take you down, you know. Oh, please choke me very quickly because I'm tired. <clears throat> like he did with Nate Diaz. Uh, but it's going to be a long night uh, for him. It's going to be a long night. I'm going to make him tired and mull him inside the cage. What are you going to say to humble him? You say you want to humble him. What, what I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him, hey, where's your boss? Where's your other guys? What happened now? Where is everything? Bring everybody here, you know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna be interesting, you know. Sometimes you never know what you wanna say, but like, a little bit talk with Dana, with him, his coaches. I talk with Barboza, Barboza coaches. I talk with Michael Johnson, Michael Johnson coaches. Like, with him, I'm gonna talk a little bit different. Uh, you know, make him humble teach him, sometimes slap him, you know, make him tired, because, like, when you're always tired, he give up, you know, he try to, like, take you down, you know, oh, please choke me very quickly because I'm tired, <clears throat> like he did with Nate Diaz, uh, but it's gonna be a long night uh, for him, it's gonna be a long night, I'm gonna make him tired and mull him inside the cage. What are you going to say to humble him? You say you want to humble him. What, what I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him, hey, where's your bus? Where's your other guys? What happened now? Where's everything? Bring everybody here. You know? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. You know, sometimes you never know what you want to say. But, like, a little bit talk with Dana, with him, you know. Crush his hype. So when you guys were at the press conference, Connor said that if you had gotten off that bus, you would be dead and he would be in jail. What do you think would have happened if you would have gotten off that Nobody bus? Nobody can say who's going to die, who's going to know. Like, this is not his option. This is God's option.
nobody can say, hey, you're gonna die or something like this. How many guys living like after you shoot someone? Like, 